What's up East Coast Swing Dancers? My name is Brian B and in this video I'm going to teach you my favorite drill to improve your East Coast Swing. All right, social dancers, let's look at this drill. First, let's talk about the triple step in East Coast Swing. It's three steps and two beats of music. The music's pretty fast. So first things first, we have to have small steps, right? We need to dance a little, little big. I call it little, little big. It's really little, little normal, but little, little big sounds better. So we dance little, little big. But the second thing that happens in East Coast Swing is we're rotating around the room. But to be clean in our dancing, I don't wanna make rounded steps in my East Coast Swing. I wanna make everything linear. So to do that, I'm gonna practice a box with my triple steps. So what we're gonna do is imagine a box on the floor. We're gonna triple step. We'll start with the left foot now, cause I'm a leader. Triple step. Now at the end of that step, I wanna pivot to triple step along this side of the box. Triple step. Now I wanna pivot a quarter turn to my left. I pivot, triple step, quarter turn to my left. Triple step, quarter turn to my left and continue all the way around. Triple step, a triple step, a triple step. Now, once you finish that, we wanna repeat it to rotate the other way. So we start on the right foot and we triple step to the right. Triple step, finishing a quarter turn. A triple step, finishing a quarter turn. Triple step, finishing a quarter turn. Triple step, finishing a quarter turn. All right, now that we've got the basic box, box, let's take a look at the technique required to make it nice and clean. So if we're working with the left foot and we triple step to the left, triple step, at this point, I'm not gonna finish all of my weight through that triple step, right? I'm gonna leave just a little bit left and at the end of the finish, I'm gonna use this little swing to rotate myself a quarter turn. That's the easy side. Now on this one, triple step, I'm working to my right as I finish my triple step triple step. Now this is the hard one because I've swung myself this way. I have to use a little body English to get my foot to turn. So let's do those two again. We're going to concentrate triple step. As we finish that step, we're going to use the end of this action to rotate my foot a quarter turn. Now this is the harder one, triple step. I have to actually finish my action to the right and use a little bit of that body English to pivot my foot a quarter turn. Then I repeat the same process using the last little bit of this action to rotate my foot, triple step. I finish the action and use it again to rotate. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right foot, the easy side first, triple step, where I use the end of this action to pivot my foot, triple step. I finish the action and use it to pivot my foot, triple step. I finish the action to finish my quarter turn, triple step, I finish my swing and use a little bit of that body English to turn around. Now, why is this important? If I wanted to dance a really good East Coast swing, if I'm using the followers footwork, I don't wanna just meander through with my triples not knowing where I'm going. I wanna make everything linear. I wanna dance a rock step. I wanna pivot and dance a clear direction. I wanna pivot and dance a clear direction. Now those directions can go anywhere in the room while you're social dancing or competing, but I wanna be clear about my direction. Same thing for the leaders. If I'm dancing an underarm turn, rock step, I want to be clear with my action as I dance my triple steps and clear with my action as I dance my triple steps. So practice your box drill and it will improve your East Coast swing. I hope that drill helped you improve your East Coast Swing. If you want to learn some cool East Coast Swing patterns, you can do that right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and visit us on socialdanceonline.com. It's like Netflix for social dancers.